About two weeks ago, I started prototyping a Jazz Jackrabbit game in Godot 4.4. Last we left off, it looked like this. Pretty simple, but it was the start. We set up the basics, like character animations and movement closer to the original game, at least compared to what the player script originally had. After getting that set up, I spent another day or so sprucing things up. Now, we're left with this. I spent my time fixing the animations, thanks to Velocity Music 7 for their solution, and Perfect for helping boost up my code. I added variable jumping, as well as a way of adjusting the jump height based on speed. And an extra feature that totally wasn't a bug I decided to keep in because I thought it was funny. Yeah. Also, sounds. Now it's looking a bit more like a functional game. Next up, it's time to add the most important thing. The LFG, Jazz's Gun. The code should be relatively simple. I'm taking what I learned from this space shooter tutorial and changing it to apply to a 2D platformer. Just gotta account for the direction our character is facing and make sure his animation changes when out of standstill. Also, I could add a cooldown timer so you can't just spam the attack, like what's featured in the space shooter, but screw it, I think it's funny. Instead, I'll add a timer to make sure the bullet node does not stay in the game if it's around for too long. We got the gun. Now we just need something to shoot at. Our enemy will just be one of these big turtle guys. I'm just gonna take what was done in the Brackies tutorial for simple movement and sprite flipping. We'll make it so that it gets destroyed when it comes into contact with a bullet. And there. One last thing. We gotta make sure Jazz can take damage and get a game over. In Jazz 1, although his health is shown as a bar, Jazz only has 4 hit points. When he reaches 0, he lands, plays his death animation, and the stage restarts. We want the same behavior here, so I'll start by adding a variable for health. When Jazz comes into contact with an enemy, his animation will change and he will be launched in the opposite direction of whatever way he's facing. Control will be regained after about a second, unless his health is zero or lower. Then he will instead play his death animation and the scene will restart. Lastly, I'll add this simple carrot collectible to give Jazz a way to regain health. Of course, he can't have more than four hit points, so any carries grabbed after the fact won't amount to more health. There. Feels way more like a game now that we got more things to interact with. Along the way, I also gave Jazz some squash and stretch thanks to this tutorial. Not necessary, but I really like how bouncy he looks now. Now, before I go ahead and map out the stage, I want to take a moment to add some extra polish to the project. UI, and a start screen. For the UI, I wanted to go with something simple. So I just added a health counter and kept the score counter from earlier. I mapped out how I wanted it to look in Ace Spray. I'm also going to be switching from using nodes as our terrain to using a tile set. This should clean up our node tree and make level design a tad easier. I went ahead and made a bigger tile set in Ace Spray with some small slopes and walls. I also looked into parallax backgrounds to make this simple test stage have more light. For the level design, I'm just making a stripped down version of Diamondus from Jazz 2. And that's about it my first fully playable platformer in Godot. Pretty simple, but I'm happy with what I made. A commenter by the name of Dimension Warp just suggested that I use the Sonic World's next framework for this project, but I wanted to stick to my own simple code. However, that does give me something to look into for future projects. Now, if you want to give this game a try, maybe give some ideas or feedback, a link to his itch.io page can be found in the description. It's browser-based, so no downloads required. Maybe I'll add more to this in the future? I already have a few things I'd like to fix, but that can wait for now. Hey, welcome to the end of the video. Hope you guys liked it. It took a little bit to get this project to where I wanted it to. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I'm looking forward to doing more like this in the future. So, uh, have a good one.